All right, so I'm going to show you how you can create these really cute tent tags using nothing but Microsoft Word in a browser. The intention of this video is to show you how you can create a tent tag and you can obviously make any changes or modifications to the fonts and or the images to fit whatever theme you have for your formal event. This is obviously for a whimsical type of wedding, uh, whereas this is more of a beachy type of wedding. All right. Before we get started, I did want to point out that I have a YouTube channel, Printables with Microsoft Word, which shows you how to do everything from creating a seating chart for your wedding, uh, creating wine bottle labels, but more importantly, I have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols right down here. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. I am using unique fonts for these tent tags. All right, uh, this is what they are going to look like in Microsoft Word. And as you can see here, we have these nice gray lines, which you can use as a guide for using your paper cutter to cut them out. And we do have two tent tags per page. Now, uh, the sizing that I use, there's a couple general sizes for tent tags that you can find online. Um, these are obviously a little larger than uh, the norm. So you can obviously make any changes to the sizing as well, but for the purpose of this video, this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, let's go to File, New, Blank Document. We want to go up to Page Layout here on the ribbon. We want to go orientation and we want to click on landscape. That's because these are actually quite wide. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on insert. You want to click on shapes and you want to click on rectangle. And then you just click anywhere on the page. It doesn't matter. So now we know this object is selected because we have these little white squares around it. Okay. If you click out of that, uh, um, this, this, the format goes away. So you want to click on the object and the format tab will be selected. And what we want to do is we want to make this 6 by 4.25. Again, standard size for a tent tag, but you can obviously make them um, less vertical and or less horizontal. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to format. We don't want this blue color. So we want to go to shape fill. We want to do a no fill. Then we want to do a shape outline and we want to do this very light gray. Again, the reason why we want to have this light gray is we need a guide for cutting. And the reason why you want the really light gray is you just want it enough so you could see it to help with the paper cutter. But once you cut it, it'll be light enough as to where um, if you know you, you don't cut it 100%, um, you won't really see the gray. All right, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to select this object and then we want to do an insert and we want to do a shape and we want to do a line. The reason why we want to do the line is we want to be sure we know the exact center of where to fold the tent tag uh, for a myriad of reasons. One, while we're centering the tent tag with our objects and our images, but also um, you're going to need a guide of uh, where to actually fold it. And again, that light gray, no one's even going to see it. So what we want to do is select right here in the middle. The nice thing about these boxes is you know the object is selected, but it's also going to show you the exact center. So you want to place your cursor in the center over this box here. You want to hold down your shift key and you want to move it over. Now the reason why you want to hold your shift key is that shift key is going to ensure that line is straight. If you don't have the shift key and you move the line over, if you accidentally move up a little bit or down a little, you're not going to have a perfectly straight line, which is what you're going to want. Okay. Now we know this object is selected because of the two little um, squares and we want to do a shape outline of that very light gray. Now we have the outline of our tent tag. Next thing we want to do is we want to create this box around it. Now again, as you can see up close, the box actually has a little bit of detail with the thick line and the thinner line. And that's the look we're going to go for. So we want to do an insert. We want to do a, and actually we want to do a text box because we're going to write in there and we want to do a draw text box. And what we want to do is um, I wanted, I like to kind of center this. Um, so I move the cursor where the ends of each cursor hit the um, upper portion of the tent tag. And you're going to left click and drag that square and then make that same spacing on the bottom. Okay. 
Now we know this object is selected because we have the little white squares and we want to do a couple things. We want to do a shape fill of no fill and then we want to do a shape outline of black. But we don't want to just do a black outline. We want to add some things. So we want to do a weight of six point. And then we want to go down to dashes on the shape outline and we want to click on more. Again, I did shape outline, dashes, more lines. And this format shape is going to come up. From here, we want to do thick, thin. And again, that is the compound type, thick, thin. And what it's going to end up looking like is right here where you can see just a little bit of extra detail. Okay. So now we have, and then from here, you can go ahead and close that out. So now from here, what we want to do is, again, we know this um, text box is, selects, is selected because we have these little white squares. We want to do a line text and we want to do middle. Again, format is selected. You want to go to text, align text, and you want to do middle. From here, we can type in our KD Fordham. And we want to highlight this. Now, and then we want to go ahead and click on home because we want to change the font. Now the font I used for this was Scriptina. I don't think this is a default font. I think you will have to go and um, download it and add it. And this is a 36 point font. Okay, again that was Scriptina. If you don't have that um, as a default, you're going to go ahead and need to add it. So now we have our KD Fordham, and the last thing we need to do is add this little bit of detail with the branch. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Google. If you like Bing or Yahoo, please feel free to use what you like. And I typed in tree branches with leaves silhouettes. And you want to click on images. And we want to go down. Uh, pre oh, and I also typed in, let's see. Where is my image? Oh, here it is. Uh, this is the one I used. And it's tree branch PNG with leaves. So we want to go ahead and right click and you want to do a save picture as and save it somewhere where you know where it's going to be and you could change the name if you want. But um, I went ahead and saved it in my videos folder. So now we want to go back to Microsoft Word and we want to click out of that so no images are selected. If you have an image selected and you do an insert, it will replace that object with the new object. So you want to be sure that nothing is selected and then you want to do an insert picture and you want to click on your leaves. Okay, now you want to do a couple things. First is you won't be able to move this around at all. So you want to click up in here for layout options or you can go up here for wrap text and you want to say in front of text. Now you can move this image around, okay? Next thing we want to do is remove the background because it has a white background. So you want to click on format you want to click on, and again, we know this is selected because we see those white lines. We want to click on remove background. And you want to go ahead and make this larger. And we want to say keep changes. And then from here, we can go ahead and just grab the end of the lines and make this as large or as small as you want to make it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead, and that's actually how you could create this tent tag. Uh, now let's go ahead and create the second tent tag. What you want to do um, is you can very easily select this tent tag option, select the middle line, left, oopsies, hold down the shift key while you're doing that, left click and you can do a copy and then you can do a paste and then just move this over. Now the other nice thing you can do is move this over so it is lined up exactly with this. So with the paper cutter, you only have to make two cuts, which is kind of nice. Okay, uh, so again with the paper cutter, you just cut 
around in a big square and then cut down the center and you have two 10 tags pretty easy. All right, now what we want to do is we want to create um, this starfish um, sort of whimsical beachy type of tent tag. So um, the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and get that starfish. So let's go back up to Google. Again, if you like Yahoo or Bing, please feel free to use what you like. And I did starfish clipart.png and silhouette. And basically what the PNG does is it gives you a white background. Um, and this is the one I used. And I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna do a save picture as. And again, this is the PNG. And if you see this um, gray and white, uh, what that gray and white means is there is no white background. So in the prior picture I had to say remove background in this picture I will not have to do that because again as I if you see these gray and white backgrounds transparents and we see it's a PNG that means that it has a transparent background so you don't need to remove background so let's just go ahead and do the starfish saved it in videos and then we want to do an insert picture and let's click our starfish and once again we want to do it in front of text and as you can see there is no white background. So we do not have to do remove background, which is kind of nice. And let's go ahead and put that there. And next thing we want to do is we want to do a correction and or let's actually change the color. And let's make this a really light gray so that we can type over it. Okay. And then finally, we want to insert a text box, draw a text box. And we want to click over here. And we want to do a shape fill of no fill for that text box and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to do the align text in the middle, just like we did before. Again, same exact um, thing. Katie, Fordham. And the font I used for this was famous. And it is a 48 point font. Again, you can go to, um, there's multiple different fonts. There's Defont, there's 1001 fonts. Um, there's a lot of really fun fonts that you can um, use to fit any sort of theme you have for your upcoming event. I hope you found this useful. Please like this video and or subscribe to my channel. I do monitor the chat line, so if you have any suggestions for additional videos, please let me know. And if you have any questions on making these, um, please feel free to enter it in. And thanks so much.